shit in the neighborhood. Produce a young four man. And I'm back with another motherfucking tutorial. Like I said, man, we're going to keep this shit going. Like I said, um, I'm trying to test it out. But yeah, man, I'm going to keep these coming as long as niggas keep requesting. I got this motherfucking, it's a Metro booming type beat. I know y'all niggas heard of that dumb song out. Migos and Uzi. This is something like that. I kind of, you know, trick it down with the, with the sound, the melody in there. I like that melody, so I kind of put my own little twist and flavor in it, and I'm doing it my way, the young four way, man. So y'all niggas like, comment, and subscribe, man. Definitely like, cause I need all the support, man, to keep this shit going. I'm fucking with the support I got right now. You know, I just hit a hundred subscribers. But I'm gonna keep it going. Like I said, man, this is this is nothing new to me. I've been doing this, been making beats, so yeah, enough of that talk, man. Let's get right into it. Y'all niggas know already about what I'm doing. I got the the Nexus. The, not Nexus, my fault. <laughs> I got Electra X. It's not the new one, by the way, but I don't give a shit, man. I'm in this D March kit I got off of D March. Shout out D March. Or whatever. But yeah. I'ma let y'all hear this shit. You feel me? Got these pad vibes in here. All right, and I gotta. I'm, I'm gonna show y'all everything I got on these sounds, cause I got some filters, whatever, whatever. So here's this melody without the gross beat. Hold on, here we go. Alright, now we put the gross beats on. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Sorry for the noise in the background, guys. You know, I'm not in a very... I'm in a very popular area, so you're gonna hear a lot of shit in the back, but fuck all that. This is how I'm doing it right now. This is the gross beat on, y'all. That's that. Now I got a weird sound. I got this organ. Turn this off. I got this organ. Yeah. That, that I, 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 this sound, I, it was kind of hard for me. I didn't know if I should use it or not. Cause I didn't know if it go well, but when I, when I mixed it up just a little bit, I didn't do too much to it right now. Cause I'm not, the beat ain't really done done, but I did what I could do for now. You know, I just took the high end off just to fuck with it. Just to, Cause you know I'ma turn it off. Let y'all hear. I'ma let y'all hear with all the all the shit on it, and I'ma take it off. Y'all can hear. I got hear. But you know I didn't know what I should do with it too much. I wanted it to be a little bit saucy, but with the one sound I got, I could go in and out with the gross beats and shit. So I didn't have to put too many sounds on this type of beat because I wanted. I, I really wanted the drums to do all the talking for me in this one. I normally don't do that. I normally pack my beats with a lot of sounds, a lot of different styles and flavors, but on this one, I let the drum speak for itself, but here's these organs with everything on it. The gross beat, the, the EQ, all right, all right, whatever, whatever. Didn't do too much to it. All right. That's with everything on it. Trust me, it's, it's not beautiful without all of this shit on it. Now, take it all off. This is what you hear. This, this pure uttery. Nothing, nothing appealing about it at all. That's why you got to fuck with your sounds and get it to how you want it to be. Is that shit? Is that still on? That's still on. I took it off the wrong one, but all right. Yeah, you hear it. A lot of whiffly and strange uh, didn't really fuck with it. And you listen to these two together? Listen to them together. Hold on. I'm going to put them both together and you can hear it together. Let me see. Let me go out here. Let 
just so y'all can hear what I'm talking about. Turn that off. That doesn't sound appealing at all. <laughs> Trust me. Any any producing heads out there that know appealing music, that does not sound good at all. But I found a way to get it to work when I put everything on here. And, and, and as you can see, I did not put the organs that much in this beat. Just at the end of every verse going into the hook and at the end of every hook going into the verse or outro. That sounds better. It's like getting you to be something. It's like, ooh, it's like a rising up. You feel me? And that's what I was going for with this beat. I didn't want too much sounds to, to take away from that main vibe, the pad vibe. I didn't want too much going on there. But now we go straight in to the class. Remember, guys, this is a metro type beat. So you have to make your shit bouncy. You have to make one drum bounce off of another drum. And metro does that a lot, whether it's claps with snares or perks and even hi-hats and then the 808s and kicks do they do what they do and i made this be real bouncy so it could be definitely a club banger as some people used to call it back in 13 2013 but here go these claps you know clap simple of course keep that simple just a basic every every bar and you got the snares and these these is all 808 mafia metro booming south side claps drum claps snares drums you know etc etc yeah basic 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 as shit it's like I, I want to keep my shit saucy though but at the same time i don't want to go out of my element i want to keep everything intact with each other so it makes sense you never want to do too much on beats because first of all if you make beats you know you you, you want to make a type of beat that somebody a, a artist feels comfortable on rapping on so you don't want to make it too complex sometimes especially if you're doing track beats you don't want to make the beat too too like focused on being do, out doing something because you want the artist to be able to fit and, and not be confused so i i, I kind of try to keep my trap beats basic but i always put flavor on i don't want it to be you know like these other niggas i don't want it to be you know just broad to where it's not it don't even sound spicy but i'm y'all gonna when y'all hear the beat y'all gonna know what i'm talking about let's get into these motherfucking hi hats oh let's get into it not to always take my out out always pull it out so i know i'm not messing yeah but i mess with that i mess with these filters right here you know because you never want to not make your shit different I don't want my shit sounding like everybody else's. I know this is a tight beat, so you want it to sound like the original producer you're trying to go after. But me, even when I'm doing tight beats, I always keep it me. So if I if I go buy a Metro Boomin kit, I'm gonna always fuck with the sounds. I'm not gonna ever just use the same with that what I was sent in. I'm not gonna just use that. I'm always gonna fuck with it because I don't want my shit to sound exactly like theirs. I want people to grasp me. If I'm only just using their shit and not messing with it. That's them, basically. You feel me? I want to be different from these other niggas. That's me, yo. That's me. Let's get into these these eight oh eights. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show y'all these hats, though. You know, just in case, just in case y'all niggas. I know, I know, some niggas like biting and shit. <laughs> it's a tutorial, so shit, do what you please. Let's get into these eight oh eights, cause this is what it made interesting, made the beat interesting. And I like 
the 808 is a little spicy. You know, also mess with the 808. Of course, you know, you tune it and shit. And I always mess with the levers right hand the envelope. Just turn them. Just so I don't have to, you know. I'm going to go into that a little bit. Let me show y'all what I mean. When you're messing with the lever, it's there for a reason. You you pull these bars back, you know. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? But I'm going to go into it for the newcomers that's coming on here. And you you hit it however long you keep your finger on that key is how long it plays. You hear that? And that's the that's what you get. You want to do that. You don't want to make every note the same, and you don't want to make it the same length. You want it to be bouncy. You want it to be tricky. You don't want the you want to make the audience guess like boom boom. Okay, okay, I'm feeling that. And then you go do something else. They think you're going left, but you go right. That's what I like to do with my 808s. Enough of that, dog. Kicks. Same thing. And I don't hit every note on my kicks because, like I said, I want the audience to kind of guess. But when they don't feel that kick come in, they was wrong. And they like, damn, okay, I fuck with that. And even other producers, you want them to guess your shit. And when they wrong, they're going to be like, damn, I could kind of, I could do that. And this is what I learned pro doing producing, you know? And I didn't hit every note the 808 hit on. You, as you can tell, you know, the notes was way, way more notes. And you'll know that. You'll know that when you hear the beat, but. Also, you want to, when you, when you're in, you know, I don't never do too much to my drums. It depends what beat. But. If the, if the kick is not punchy enough for you, you can always, some people don't recommend it, but. Excuse me. Go in the sound organizer and mess with it. You hear that? The difference. Way more of a difference. I'm not going to use it on this one because I don't really need it. But. I always take the low end out, even though it'll, um, kicks don't really have that much low end in them. Take the highs up so you can feel it. It's like a gut punch. I always put a fruity filter on mine, take the resonance out, the high pass out. That's just, that's just what I do. It, it doesn't do too much, but I fuck with it. And I always use fruity liquor to just give it the extra time to it. And now we go into this last, you know, last note. I like these. They call snares, but to me they're more like perks. That's just to make the beat. You want to always use reverb when you're doing these type of beats, Metro Boomin type beats, because he does use a lot of atmospheric sounds. He does, truly. If you listen to his beats, you're a fan of Metro. You know he used these type of atmospheric sounds. And this is, at a, this is actually a TM88 perk or snare. And then I named this piano. I don't know why because it's not a piano. This is like chill out keys. That's what it's called. And I used this at the, the very last verse, I believe, leaving the song, going back into the hook, which is going to end the song. Just to give Metro also does this, uses a sound that he doesn't use at the beginning or middle of the beat, just to give it that last push that it needs to keep the listener in and, and hearing. This is this is what I do. Like, I'm, like I say, I'm different. So... Let's go, let's get right into it. And this is like a Metro type sound. And Met Metro, one thing he does. One, one thing Metro does is also use atmospheric sounds. Other than, than uh drums. The sounds he, he chooses also has a lot of reverb bass. When it comes to sound selection, so it could be out of like out of the world, you know, on so it could overlay the beat. You feel me? And that's that's what a lot of producers fail to do when they doing these metal woman type beats. They want to do these, they want to use these Nexus sounds, which I don't have a problem with. Nexus is always cool. It's a next gen bass VST, but I don't fuck with it personally. I don't. Because Nexus, everybody uses it. So what is what is gonna happen with that? Everybody's gonna sound the same, and that's why most people that do these beats, 
Me Metro Boomin was using um, Nexus a lot when he produced um, DS2. But as you can see, now he's messing with Electra X. If you listen to um, Evil by Future, a lot of Electra X on there. So, yeah, he's, he fumbles between both. But me, I, I, I would take over. I would take um, Electra X over Nexus. That's just me. It has a lot of, lot more sounds that are what people would, would choose like it's just a lot of different sounds a lot of more variety to choose from that's me though other people prefer nexus but that's it with the drums guys um i, I basically covered everything i don't do too much when it comes to eqing i didn't do too much on this one but basically every i just i always eq Whatever, I leave the 808 the only thing on the high end because you want that 808 to be by itself. So you can get the full just of that 808. The 808 is the only one on the high end. You don't want to hear any sounds over there, any bright, pokey, speaky sound. You don't want to hear none of that. You want the 808 to be by itself. That's me though. You feel me, man? These other niggas don't be mixed. They don't go too far with the mix and they don't want to show y'all that because they don't want y'all to get nice. But me, I don't give a shit. We all out here doing the same fucking thing. Why don't just why don't help somebody else out? So if anybody, if y'all want me to do an in-depth tutorial tutorial on um, EQ when I got y'all, man, because I, I could do that. I don't care. I'm, I, I'll also be giving away kits, guys. I got a lot of fucking kits, Zaytoven kits, and I know everybody wants Zaytoven kits. Who the fuck doesn't? <laughs> um, I got a couple Metro Booming kits. They're recent too. Um, Southside 808 Mafia kits. Etc. Etc. Team media. I got everything. And also, y'all know the nigga Lil Mister. Everybody know him. He be selling kits and shit. They be out already. So I got a hold of some of his kits. If anybody want them, hit me up. I'm not. I'm not gonna really be selling that because I give them away. I'm not. I'm not like this other nigga. And they got a lot of good shit in here. Um, let's go to this. Let's go booming. Everybody was asking for their spins 808. I got it. Let me know if you want it. Also, y'all want that official um, Metro Boomin snare. I got that too. Let me see which one it is. This is the snare, official snare of Wicked. Also, let's see, where you at, Purple Rain? Official snare on Wicked that he used. I got everything in here, you know. Of course. But that's irrelevant. Y'all niggas, I'm just letting y'all niggas know I got everything. If y'all want any anything, I got y'all. Of course, everything ain't going to be free. I have my own kit, of course. I'll probably be releasing that sooner or later down the line. But, um, yeah, if y'all want any kits, man, let me know. I got every motherfucking thing. Like, I'm not playing with this shit, man. <laughs> like, real shit. But let's get into this beat anyways, guys. I'm going to let y'all hear it. And that's it, man. Y'all can, can hear it. Enjoy everything. I did a lot of things. But if y'all want me to get in more depth with these things, I got y'all. Because it's never nothing, nothing to me. Y'all could like like I said, y'all will hear a lot of at atmospheric bouncy. It's definitely bouncy, of course. You want to make everything bouncy, but that's that's it, guys. That's that uh Metro Boomin Bougie Lil Uzi Vert Migos type beat right there. It sounds <laughs> to me, to me, hey, completely like it, you know. But that's it, guys. Um make sure you guys subscribe. Cause I got shit like this coming out daily. I'm not talking weekly, daily. And I got beats coming out daily as well. I'm going to have way more shit coming out, guys. And I'm, I'm giving away shit, too. So, subscribe, guys. I need I need loyal subscribers to let me know what they want to hear. 
comment that in below guys it, it, once i get that guys i'm good like this video too and i will i will be giving away some kits i'm not bullshitting guys um but i will get more in the debt like i always say i will guys so it's your neighborhood producer young four man i'm checking out once again this was a lit ass motherfucking tutorial sesh part two metro booming style comment down below guys let me know what the fuck y'all niggas want to hear because i got it all man <laughs> so yeah man and we out